So for this call, we are going to be talking a little bit about MailChimp. MailChimp is an email-based marketing uh, program. There's lots of them out there. Um, what was the one you guys were talking about earlier? Um, and they won't stop hounding you, but there's so many. Infus Constant Contact. Constant Contact, Infusionsoft, um, Entreport. There are a gajillion of them. Um, to me, MailChimp is sort of like the Apple version of emails. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty intuitive. The templates are simple. It's a clean kind of a look. It's not too complicated. And it's free, right? Unless you get up to uh, over 2,000 people uh, on your lists. The only difference between... Um, Constant Contact, for example, and MailChimp is in all programs, you can have different segmented lists, or I could have Sarah on three of my lists. I could have her in my challenge group emails. I could have her in my coach emails, and I could have her in my free group email lists, right? Those could be three different lists because I'm going to send different emails to each of those. That counts as three people, even though she's one person. So once again, it's a great, if you run into that trouble where you have to start paying for MailChimp, you're doing an amazing job, right? But that being said, there are a few differences amongst them. But again, MailChimp as far as an, a beginner program is fantastic. A couple of reasons for this. Holly's a fantastic example. Um, if anything happens to Facebook, Instagram, whatever, yeah, that did look like a, a naked kid running back there. Sorry. I just said that while we we're recording, but I totally caught that, Carla. Um, if something happens to your account, the email is a great way as a backup. You could technically run challenge groups or coach groups, even coach training. I know some people use MailChimp and they do what's called drips where they drip out emails every one to two days with information. You can set that up. And once it's set up, you just add somebody to that, that campaign and they get all, for example, let's say you have 30 emails set up, they get all 30 of those emails based on when you have them set up, whether it's one day or two days. So it's a pretty cool automation program, um, but it does require a bit of work to set up. But once it's set up, it's fantastic. So I'm going to go kind of from the beginning point where if you've never done this and you want to walk through this with me, feel free to set up your first account, okay? And because this is being recorded, if you are, feel free to open up a separate window. And if you want to kind of go back and forth and start, start right now, that's how I love learning. When we first started with Miguel's videos, I had one on one side, one on the other, and I literally watched what he did, and I did it. Watched what he did, and I did it. So depending on how um, much of a multitasker you are, maybe you just want to watch, okay? So, first of all, hopefully you saw this. Kim posted this. Um, they came out with the challenge group guide for 80 Day Obsession. It's like, woo! Um, they weren't going to do it until after New Year's, which is kind of nice, um, but it looks, it looks pretty in-depth and pretty awesome. Um, I mean... Like there's videos from Autumn. There's, it 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 looks fantastic. So what a what a great way. Again, even though your your group might not be all ADD obsession, it's it's got some amazing content. It, it's far more in depth than the other challenge group guides. Okay, so I am going to skip right past this. If you missed it, we opened up with the Adam Sandler Hanukkah song, um, Mailchimp. So. Perfect. So I am, I wonder if I should start straight from scratch. Let's try it. Uh, but I'm logged in. Hold on one sec. Yeah, see, it keeps getting out because I've already signed in. I'm just going to go into my, signing up is basic. Um, they basically ask you, your basic information, you literally fill it in. They ask you your email, what type of business, what's your email, what kind of things are you going to send out? 
and then it will basically take you here. Okay, so this is where you will end up once you enter in your basic information. So I'm just gonna go through a few of these really quickly. Um, and don't worry about your email, it can be changed later or the email you send things from can be changed later. Um, one thing that I really, really highly recommend you do um, is it gives you the option to sign up for their getting started campaigns, like a series of emails. They're awesome for training. So make sure you check that little box that says um, subscribe to the getting started series because it's sort of like a simple tutorial that will walk you through this. Okay. Now there are a few different things they do and I'm just going to go through them. A campaign is basically what you're going to send to people and when. Okay. It's kind of like I am, you can make a campaign one email or you can make it a series of emails. Okay. But that's what your campaign is. Your templates are basically once you've gone in and let's say created a newsletter or created an email template, because most of yours, again, as a business, your emails should have a standard look, right? You see the ones that Jamie Kim send out, there's a standard header, there should be a standard footer. Um, if possible, you should go into Canva, it's one of the things I love about Canva, and figure out what your fonts are, right? And try and, depending on which program you use, they have limited fonts, but try and use a consistent font and try and use those consistent colors, right? It's business 101 to me is you need that consistency so that when it comes in, you don't even have to read it. You know, oh, that's coming from Christine because those are her colors and that's her font and there's that logo, okay? Lists are basically who you're going to send things to, right? Um, are you going to have a coach group? You can have as many lists as you want. Are you going to have a coach group? Are you going to have one uh, list of people that you just send to your challengers? Are you going to have a list that you just send to your free group? Um, are you going to have a list that you send to potential customers? But those you can have multiple lists, and you can technically afterwards. Um, you can segment a list as well, meaning you could have a, a whole bunch of lists. You could, within that list, divide it and only send it to specific people. Now, it can be as detailed as possible, depending on how much information you collect. You can set up your, um, hey, this is Carla. I'm, I'm just sending you a happy birthday. I hope you have, I hope you rock this day. And it, if you collect e uh, birthdays from people, it will automatically send that little email to everybody on their birthday. Okay. It's just, to me, it's automation is so many more personal touches and it strengthens the relationship without it kind of being spammy, right? Like getting a birthday email, that's kind of cool, right? And it's not hard to set up. It's just knowing at the beginning kind of which information to collect. So those are your lists. And then reports are kind of simple. Reports will give you detailed um, kind of analysis of your campaigns, how many were opened, um, if there was a click link in your email, how many people clicked on it, how many people unsubscribed. So that's kind of what that is. So a couple questions is how, how do you collect emails, right? So... I'm just gonna really quickly, because I know a few people have done this before. I just wanna make sure they're on here. Katrina, just by, do you, do you use this? You don't. Is anybody on here use MailChimp right now? Who's on? I see a lot of no's. Okay, so there's a variety of ways you can collect emails. The very first one you all should do is go into your coach online office, right, in the back. Let me see how complicated this is gonna be if I can do this. I love doing this from memory when I'm on the spot. 
Okay, so go to Coach Office. Perfect, they're fixing the bugs. Monitor my business. So um, if I wanna go into my customers, right? And this is what I did for 80 Day Obsession, for example. You can go into, these are all my customers, right? Um, what do I got here? I can't even see, I'll move this. Yeah, so there's like 26 pages of customers. So all you're gonna do, if you want, and what I highly recommend is there's an amazing video that says how, it actually says, how to export your Beachbody contacts into MailChimp, okay? I'm not gonna go through all of these things, detail, but in YouTube, it's an excellent one. If I find it, I'll try and get the link. Please confirm, yes, I wanna export this. There we go. It's pretty simple. So here's my list of people. And before you import it into MailChimp, there's my data. It's going to that It's going to ask you a few things and I'm not going to set it up exactly how I'm supposed to, but you're going to have to clean this up a bit. You don't need any information technically other than this. And I'm just going to copy that. Mike, we can't see it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, can you see my Excel now? Okay, so all I did basically, I'm not, I'm not gonna go back, is there's a whole ton of information. The date they started, the date they signed up, um, you name it. I probably shouldn't be showing all this now that um, it's being recorded and Jamie's gonna put it on YouTube. Um, but you're gonna take that and all you're gonna do is once you're in MailChimp, it asks you, where are we here, sorry, I'm there, let's go back to MailChimp. Can you guys see that? Are we on MailChimp? Yeah, with the little free group, Sulfate Union, you can see that? Cool, so all you're gonna do is once you're in your lists, you are going to, hold on one sec. Let me make sure. Sorry, one sec. Let me try it from here and see if I can import it here. Okay, so once you've set up a list, for example, you're gonna go in and you're going to add contacts and you're gonna import contacts and all you're gonna do is hit that CSV tab and that's the one that it automatically creates from um, your coach online office. And you're just gonna go next here in the bottom and you're just gonna find that file. I wonder if I have one in here. Yeah, I'll just see if it'll work with this one. I don't think I saved it yet. It'll be, a, it'll be a bit of a mess because it's not cleaned up. But basically, this is how it's gonna work. Um, and you will literally have a first name, a last name, and an email. That's what you're gonna save. And you're gonna import that right into your MailChimp, okay? One sec. So it, it's actually super simple to do to get your customers. And then what I would do also is I would make a separate list for your coaches. Okay. So you can run a, you can, ex, you can run a filter and do just your PS coaches, right? And you can export that list with those emails. And those would be two lists, for example. Okay. Um, right now, again, because I just created a brand new program, um, I just have these two and there's technically nobody in them, but if I would have imported all those people, that would have been a list, okay? So I, I might have called it Beachbody customer list. And what I did with that one, <coughs> excuse me, 
is I then sent all those people an email explaining that ADD obsession was coming, right? And one of the things you can do, and again, I don't want this to be too technical, is I sent that out, um, let's say the first day of the launch. Three days later, I could resend an email out to everybody who hadn't opened it, okay? So I did that, which was kind of cool. And basically what you're doing there is all you're gonna do is you're duplicating a campaign and there's once you do it again this is i don't want to get too far into it into this because it's a little complicated um but the help section here is fantastic when you go to help and you say how do i resend to uh, to people who have not opened my email they literally will give you screenshots of how to do it and it's basically a filter and it just says please resend this to everybody who has not opened the email okay so it's a great way to do that without you can even change the, the subject heading to, hey, in case you missed it, right? Something like that. So it doesn't seem in case, uh, in case they intentionally didn't open it. So that's, that's how you do that. That's how, that's how I would start. How you're going to collect emails is kind of up to you. Um, one thing you probably want to do is when you start a free group, you have the option to ask three questions, right? Before people get added to the group. I don't know if you've ever done that. One of them can be their email. That's a great way to do it. Does anybody ask those questions before people jump into their free groups? No? I know Miguel does. Um, I know a lot of people do. It's kind of a great way to get the tire kickers out. And if you can't answer three simple questions for my free group, then I probably don't want you in there. Do you know what I mean? So you can ask in your, in your groups, once you set up a group, you can go into the settings and once they add themselves to that group, it asks them three questions. And I would have one of them be, what's your email? And that way, that's a great way to collect it. Okay. Um, there's a second way to do that I'm going to show you kind of after, which is kind of cool, especially because it's free. Um, but I'm going to get in really quickly to campaigns. I'm just going to kind of create a campaign. So you guys can actually see how easy it is. So this has a wizard. It will walk you through everything. And please ask questions as we go, okay? Because I know I'm kind of going through this fairly quickly. There's a chat. Let's see. Um, there's a couple things with MailChimp. There's a thing called a double opt-in. Um, MailChimp asks you, do you want to send double opt-ins or not? And a double opt-in basically means, yes, I do want emails from you. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a gray area pink, um, especially because they're already your customers technically. So let's go down here um there's three the different ways kind of to collect uh emails i'm not going to do create an ad because that deals with facebook and instagram which you can actually do with this which is kind of interesting you can create facebook ads the basic one you're going to do is create an email and it's actually pretty simple um you can do a regular email which is just like one blast that i would send out to all of you Here's that happy birthday one, right? If you have a, a birthday, um, here's something simple to new subscribers. If somebody subscribes, you can have, the, these are standard ones that are set up. Um, there's also pop-up forms. So once somebody subscribes to say your blog or something, you can have them automatically send this, okay? There's plain text, you're not gonna do those. And if you're doing A-B testing, you have way too much time in your hands. So we're just gonna stick with regular for now. Campaign name, let's call this one 80 Day Obsession. Begin, and again, it's a really simple template. Uh, who are we sending this to? Add recipients. I can choose a list, so I'm gonna go my SFU one. Um, and again, you can segment them, right, if you wanted to. First time customers, male, female, it, it, it all depends on what kind of data you've collected. And I'm gonna save that, <clears throat> add from. Uh, there, you can change the email address later if you wanna send it from a different email address. 
what's the subject. They even, they can even, it says, how do I write a good subject line? They'll give you great examples of subject lines to make people open it, okay? Kind of like, um, oops, I think I made a mistake. You probably see these types of things from marketers all the time. Um, and then preview text. Here's, and I'm literally going through this really fast with you guys. Here's a little something I thought you would like. Okay. And then you're going to save that. Now here's the content. And this is what I like about this is because it is kind of user friendly. Um, and it's really simple. It's kind of click and drag. You can pick one that you like. For example, if you just want to do a basic layout like this, Um, and it literally, you go up to the logo, you edit it. I want to replace it with something. I'm going to stick my banner in there. For example, let's say, um, I'm going to go to the text and say, oh gosh, what are we talking about? Um, the launch has arrived, right? You can change the font, the style, the anything you want. If I want to add a photo here, you just go over here to replace. Um, I want to upload one because I don't like any of those. Do I have a good autumn one? I'll just use this because it's here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the launch has arrived, a little obsessed. Uh, and then you can change the text to however you want. I'm just gonna leave it there, just assume it was there. Here's a link. So if you want a link and you don't want to say start shopping, you might want to put, um, I need more info, right? And then you can put your address. You can put your Facebook page if you want, uh, facebook.com uh, backslash mike.fitzpatrick.health. I don't know why I would send them to my Facebook page. I probably wouldn't. You could probably send them to a post even, right? Because your posts actually have addresses to them. Um, so if you wanted, if you had like an invite with before and afters, you could send them to a post. Um, you could send them to a landing page in order to get more information from them. But I'm just going to use this just for the heck of it. Just because I want to keep this clean and not go too in-depth. If I don't want that, I can delete it, okay? And it's gonna put all my information here in the bottom. So that's pretty simple. Save and close. I'm gonna preview it. This is what it's gonna look like. Okay, that was fast, right? But it still looks professional. And that, obviously some of the, well, that's, that's literally my Facebook banner. I, and this was something I can't remember if this is our challenge group or not. Um, but it honestly looks really professional really fast, right? So the cool thing about it is it'll show you what it looks like on mobile, right? And it changes everything instantly to be mobile friendly, which is awesome. Um, or what it's gonna look like in your mail inbox. But it's gonna be really slow. So that's why I like it. You can create it from scratch if you want to. I'm gonna X out of here. You can send it to yourself, send a test email to, and I'll just show you what it looks like. We'll go back to that in a sec. Now, if this is something I really like and I wanna save it as my template for future emails, I can save it as a template there, or I can save and exit. And what I wanna do is I wanna go back and I wanna show you just really fast if I did another campaign, let's just call this test and I'll show you. The other thing I really like about it is, let's go straight to design email. Their themes are fantastic. So these are pre-done ones already, right? So what you can do with these, kind of like a website, is you can go in if you like something clean and simple like this you can take that and that layout change the picture you can go in and 
change the font again, right? Oops, that's fine. Okay, so you, you can make things look incredibly professional. Um, sorry, I'm just gonna go back up here. I, I like doing these because I leave the design work to somebody else. Whenever I try and do it, it looks really homemade and hack. They still do when I do them, but whatever. Try, try and use something like this because they've already done it. I'm just gonna replace this with a picture. So, and this is kind of, uh, just to show you how, how fast this could be. And I'll show you, okay, so I don't, I don't like this one already. Do you see how it's not lined up with this one? <laughs> um, these look like squares, and this is just me. You can go in and you can edit the picture. And I want to crop it, and I can tell it wasn't a square. So I'm going to make sure that's a square. <coughs> Excuse me. Please square it up. There we go. Okay, now you see how they're all lined up like that? Sorry, that was just bothering me at the bottom. Um, but you can create it. You can go into these, and it's actually amazing how – and then I, you could go in and change this picture to be like Autumn's – 80 day obsession. I'm really trying not to say 80 day obsession as much as possible. Um, mainly because it's going to be all over social media right now. And a lot of people have friends in common. Um, I don't want them to Google 80 day obsession and go buy it online from the website. So I try not to say 80 day obsession um, as much as possible. I talk about our new program. Um, I might show autumn. I think I did a picture, um, and I just black, I whited out the board where it says ADD obsession and I, I wrote something else. Just, you don't want to be too much of a screaming, you know, this is the product I'm pushing this month, right? As opposed to this is our program. This is my program. So the nice thing about this is again, it's got the settings. So I've saved it, and then I can send that to whoever I want, right? Go through the same thing, add recipients, add from, add subject. It, and again, it ends up looking incredibly professional. The, the thing is, is you gotta make sure you've got some nice graphics. They actually have stock graphics you can use. Um, I can't remember if they use Getty Images or who they use. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to stop for a sec. Does anybody have quick questions? Just in case. Yeah, I do, Mike. How do yeah. you, you said you could go back and just send it to say maybe three out of the, say, 15 people on the list. How do you do that? So you would go segment and let me see if I can do it here. Oh, May asked a question. Yeah, I think legally with emails, May you have to show an address, but just don't put your home address in there then. Put a, put some other address in there, some, you know, generic address, but you legally, for emails, I think have to show an address. So let's say we go to our list. I wonder if it's even gonna let me do this because there's only one person on there. Um, if I create a campaign, and, yeah, I don't know if it's going to, because I only have one person, but it gives you an option who you want to send it to. Um, yeah, let me, let me. I haven't been able to figure that part out. Oh, to like, if you want to just send it to one, two or three people. Yeah. In that, in that group, in that list. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's got to, I know there's a way that you can probably pull up your lists. And if you go into this list, so you've got your different segments here. You can go in and click certain people and then um, move to a new list, right? 
So what I would do if I were you, Elda, is create a new list, whatever you want to call it. Right. And go, go into your existing list that say has 200 people in it. Just check them off and then go move to list and move them to that little list that you just created. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I'll try that. It's a workaround. So here's, here's a great way to catch emails. Now, I didn't even know MailChimp did this until a couple of weeks ago because I was, there's another program called Launch Rock that did it, but this is pretty cool. So if you go into campaigns, I actually like this. I love learning new stuff. So if you go into campaigns and you go to create campaign and you go over here to, I can't see because you guys are in the way. I think that says, yeah, create landing page. This is pretty awesome. So let's say we want to call this again. I'm just going to call it 80 day landing page. And I want this to go to my sulfate union list begin. So these are awesome. It's very simple. You can make, you can go to the themed ones. You can do your own. So again, I'm going to go into logo to keep it simple and to keep it clean. Let's say I use that. I'm going to go over here and go um, for three free recipes. Um, yeah. Drop. Oh no, sorry. Let's go. Uh, I think I did something like this. Let's go how to get through the holidays. Something like that. And then you can go through here and go and just explain what it is. Um, I, I'm just gonna speak it so I don't type because I'm a slow typer, but you might wanna say something like, do you always have trouble you know, getting out of the holidays? Do you feel sluggish? Well, if you're looking for three amazing recipes, um, that you want to you know, use over the holidays so that you come out feeling fantastic, drop your email below. That's what I would put here, right? Drop email below. This is just the shortened version of it. And then there is your landing page. So I'm gonna show you, that's how fast they are. You know, you know what I mean by landing pages, you see them everywhere, right? They pop up, you can make it a pop-up on a website. So let's go save and continue. Now, this is the cool part. Once you have that, I'm going to call it um, 80 day. Right? So now that we have it, let me just go to the list. It's in Sulfate Union. Content's done. <clears throat> Do you see this link here? You now have a link it'll give it to you here as well. You now have a link as a website. You don't even need a website anymore. Usually you needed a website to have landing pages pop up. You can give this link out to anybody and I'm going to see if it works. Talk, tick tock. Yeah. So now when somebody punches that in, a landing page automatically pops up where you can collect emails. You don't need a website anymore to collect emails, to have landing pages. That one looks a little hack. Um, but again, I just, I didn't want to type everything out. I would have changed the font. I would have done some funky picture and they even have amazing templates on there. So the cool part is, is again, you don't need a website anymore um, to do landing pages. And these are awesome because you can, you can put this in your link for uh, on Facebook. You can put it on your profile for Instagram. Um, it's just a great way to start collecting those emails. The only thing I haven't figured out is a first and last name. Um, that's going to be attached to this. Usually a lot of the times you have an option to get first and last name so that the cool thing about these landing pages also is they send an automatic thank you for you. You can change them, but it'll send you an automatic thank you. So once they fill this info in, hit sign me up, it will send them uh, whatever you have set up saying, hey, thanks for enrolling. 
Um, I look forward to, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But it's a really cool way to start collecting those emails. And that's kind of what I was getting at um, at, the, at the beginning of this saying, how do you collect emails? This is an awesome professional way to do it, okay? Yeah, I, I don't know. I thought it was, uh, yeah, you can, you literally can have it anywhere. You can put it in a post. If you're doing, um, what I would do is if you're doing a free group, I would make sure you get everybody's email before they're allowed to go into your free group. I think this is a more professional way to do it than um, using the Facebook thing, you know, in your group where you ask the three questions, mainly because this is also automated. It automatically plugs them into your list, right? Which is awesome. Um, and then you can start communicating with them and start growing your list. Emails just, email has a much better response rate um, than anything else. For the UK, I use this. I think you guys saw with my other one, I've been using this kind of as far back as Country Heat. Um, you can designate whichever email you want it to go from, uh, Katrina. You, there was a spot there, I think I showed you, where you can type in which email you want it from. But let me see if I can log out of this real fast. I, I'm kind of done. So if you guys have questions while I do this, holler. Is there a way you know who's opened them and who's not? Who yep. Them? Yeah. Um, and that's through the report. Um, so if I go into here, I think this is the one I've used. Yeah. So for example, um, so this was my downline for Beachbody customers. I pulled up 752 customers, 180 uh, coaches. So you can see there, that's a pretty good open rate, 55%. Um, uh, and I think I melded my UK group into another one. So if you go into your reports, it, it's kind of as detailed as you want it to get. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty it interesting. Give you names or anything. It just gives it, you a percentage. It should give you names. Um, yeah, there's all the people that opened it. So you, okay. you can see, right? Yeah. Um, so if I go into my campaigns, those, those, those are, I mean, those are extremely high open rates. Most email marketers are happy with 2%, 3%, but they're also sending them to thousands of people. These weren't massive. Um, but yeah, I, again, I think I've, how far back have I been using this? Um, shift shop, country heat. Yeah. So 2016, um, it's not bad. I like it. And just to show you, let me see if I have some of the, uh, I think I created a, for the UK thing, I had kind of had a standard, oh, that's not even it, a standard template I used. It's not, uh, sorry, that's the one I did with Tony Horton. Yeah, but there, they're pretty simple. And what I did with that, these ones with the UKs, I put the, the zoom link right in there. So all they had to do was click on the zoom to connect. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I really like it. I think it's, it's simple. It's relatively quick. It's a great, it's a great way to, uh, to connect with people like fast. Um, and then I think this was the uh, shift shop one just to kind of give you an example of what, what they look like. And again, not complicated, not, um, nothing too crazy. They, they honestly don't take long. Most of this information here is copied and pasted some of it other than the, you know, the interesting stuff, but they're pretty, they're pretty quick. They're pretty simple. And then they click for more info. For me, I do have a website, so it would take them to, um, 
this is before I knew about landing pages. So it would take them to the website. <clears throat> Here's their markers link, their Canon markers link. And then at the end, they could fill out the information. And this actually sent all the info back into MailChimp. Okay, this, this uh, email and first and last name. This pretty basic, but again, you don't need the website anymore. Okay, I'm just gonna go back and stop the share. I didn't wanna go too in depth into this. Um, but yeah, it figure it out with MailChimp again. I, I'm a self learner. Most of it on YouTube is pretty simple. Um, anything you wanna learn how, but it is like step by step. It will walk you through how to get customers, how to get emails. But again, start with your, play around with your Beachbody people um, in your back office and just export those. Basically what they want is you to delete all the information other than their email, their first name and their last name. And all you do is you put the email in the very first column. You just copy that and you paste it into the first, first name, last name, delete everything else. And then you just export that, you save the file and you import it right into MailChimp. And you guys can start communicating with people who are already your customers. Like that's the easiest place to start, right? Then you saw 760 existing customers who bought something off me. Do you get a lot of people that respond back to you from them? Not the Beachbody people. Yeah. About, about the same rate as the free customers. And I don't understand why. Who's that? Hey, is that, is that who I think it is? That's my dad. Hey. <laughs> that's oh. Mike. It's Mike. Mike. It's Mike Fitzpatrick from Vanderhoof. Oh, hi, Michael. How are you? <laughs>